In this PowerPoint lesson, we're going to deal with paragraph features such as bullets, numbers, aligning your text, spacing, indenting, that kind of thing. Um, right off the bat, we have a numbered uh, bulleted list here. So I'm going to select this bulleted list. And one of the options we have, of course, is changing the style of bullet that we have. Now, if you don't like anything from this menu, you can go to a bigger menu. Uh, and if you've studied Word, you know that you can go into wingdings and different symbols. So we're going to go into Customize here and here we have the Wingdings 3 menu. We've also got the Wingdings menu that many of you may be familiar with. And you have all the standard symbols that you can use. So I can change this to that symbol. And I can even change the color. I can change the size if I wanted to. So many options. And then when you hit OK, you have a brand new bullet. Um, back to that menu. You also have the ability to go into numbering if you'd like. So right from here, we can change this and go into any style of number that we would like quickly and easily. So those are bullets and numbers as far as your bulleted list is concerned. Now, as far as the, uh, the alignment of your list, now this is a very long list, but you'll see that it will change if I ask for bottom align so now it's aligned bottom in this placeholder not that that's a big deal because chances are your placeholder is invisible anyhow so people aren't going to know whether it's top middle or you know bottom aligned inside of your placeholder um, the, another thing you can do with your placeholder of course is you can shrink it and that automatically indents the text on your slide I find that to be quick and easy however just so you know you can also indent it this way so you can go back to here to more options and you can ask for an internal margin that grows and here you see in the background that it is indenting from the left hand side I find that to be to be honest the, the long way of doing things because I could have just like I said easily just sized that and I would have had the same effect um, I believe you have the option also to affect the spacing within your bullets so here I can change the spacing. Uh, nope, that wouldn't do that. So maybe the spacing is here. Here we go. Spacing before and after. So we can rather than single, we can go one and a half now. It had to adjust my font size. It's now 21. I have one and a half spacing, but my font size had to adjust. I'm going to undo, and you'll see that I used to have 27, but because I wanted more spacing, it adjusted my font size. Very, very clever. So you can increase the size of your spacing if you'd like to. So those are some of the features you have for bullets, numbering, and line spacing within a bulleted list, which is a very common thing within PowerPoint.